friends, today is a good day because today we're making cocktails in this video and I'm stoked. I love making cocktails, I especially love whiskey sours and today we're gonna make a smoked whiskey sour. Hey, what's up everybody? Dennis the Prescott here. Okay, so I love whiskey sours. When I go to a bar, a whiskey sour and old fashioned, it's kind of, I mean, maybe I'm an old man and I like old man drinks, but it's my favorite thing to order. It's consistent, it's delicious. You can drink a lot of them. Maybe you should drink it in moderation, kids. But it's really, really good. You can always, like with the call the classics, whether it's spaghetti or whatever, you can always take it to the next level. So today, we're gonna rock that on our Traeger grill. We're gonna infuse our lemons and our limes with smoke. We're gonna make a nice little garnish. It's gonna be super, super, delicious. I love making things on the grill that aren't traditional things like chicken and ribs and steak and I mean that's all delicious and I do that all the time. Your grill can do a hundred thousand things to Sunday. All you need to do is close that lid and it becomes an oven and it maintains that temperature and the nice thing about the Traeger is it's got a super smoke option on there so we're gonna just suck in all of that smoky deliciousness. Enough talking, let's make cocktails. Okay so Lemons and limes. You wanna do enough. I mean, you're heating the grill. You're honestly, you're gonna make, you're probably not making cocktails for yourself on a Wednesday night, but you probably wanna make enough for your friends and family, and this is gonna keep in the fridge if you have leftovers anyway. So definitely, you know, whack 10 or 12 different lemons and limes, get them cut, have them, and then we're gonna pop those on the grill. So we've got the grill right now at 200 degrees, and we've got it on super smoke, so it's pushing out as much smoke as possible so that it can infuse the citrus with that smoky wood fired flavor. So we're gonna pop that on the grill. That's gonna be on there for about 45 minutes or an hour, really as long as you want, cause it's not really cooking it through at that point. Pull those off and then we're gonna juice them. Okay, so our citrus, lemons and limes, we're on the grill for about an hour, getting ready to go. We have this strainer, we are gonna just juice all of this smoky deliciousness into this bowl. You can do it whenever you have an hour. Honestly, it doesn't have to happen right before you make your cocktails, obviously. You can do it the day before, you can do it at night, you can do it in the morning while you're having your cup of coffee. Whatever you have time to do. But juice these, get them ready to go. We increase the grill temp to 350 degrees because we've got a garnish ready to go next. Okay, so we've got our smoked citrus all ready to go. We're gonna make a little garnish right now. Super easy, super simple. We're gonna take a lime. This is a lemon actually, lemons are yellow. We're gonna take this, we're gonna slice it really, really thin just into strips. And then we've got a little bowl of brown sugar and we're basically just gonna take these lemons, toss them in brown sugar, get them nice and coated all around and then pop that on a grill at 350 degrees about 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes. Just check it when it's nicely charred and they're cooked through and it's gonna be an amazing garnish. It's gonna be smoky and delicious and obviously very sweet because of the brown sugar as well. So it's gonna complement the whiskey sour beautifully. Okay, we're all ready to go, cocktail time. Uh, these lemon slices, check those out. They're gonna be amazing. They smell amazing, they look amazing. Really kind of next level, took no time, you know, sugar and lemons and a grill, and you have something that looks really beautiful and most people probably aren't gonna do at their house. So it's really, really cool to do that. Get yourself one of these fancy dancy little things. Get yourself a nice little cocktail glass. I am not a mixologist, but I love making cocktails. It's really fun. We've got some ice, we're gonna go in here with that into this shaker, we're gonna go in, we've got some nice whiskey. Whatever your favorite whiskey is works perfectly here. We're gonna go in with some nice simple syrup. We actually have smoked simple syrup. Smoke, I mean, come on, it's awesome. You should try it out, for real. We've got this beautiful citrus that we popped on the grill. That's gonna go in there as well. And we've got a nice egg white. We're going classic here, lean into it. Don't be scared of the egg white. It's not scary, it's awesome and delicious. Make sure it's on there nice and tight. And then Tom Cruise style and cocktail. Just go to town. Okay, Whew. go to town. Make sure you really get a good workout on there. It's good for the forearms. It's good to pretend you're Tom Cruise for a second. Mostly it makes sure that the cocktail is chilled through without being diluted by adding water from the ice when it melts or anything like that. And you want that egg to get all frothy. All right, time to plate up, I guess, or drink up. Let's see, into this glass. Oh, beautiful, look at that. It's amazing, looks beautiful. Oh man, I love whiskey sour so much. Perfect, last but not least, we're gonna go in with this garnish and then it's time to drink. Okay, seriously y'all, 
you need to make a cocktail like this. Christmas, New Year's, birthday, thanks, whatever. When you have friends coming over, make them a cocktail like this. It takes a little bit more, like, but just a little bit more effort. And it looks amazing. It's really, really easy. It's got that nice wood-fired Traeger smokiness. And honestly, like, look at that. You just feel like James Bond walking around your house drinking a cocktail like this, like a straight up baller. So definitely make this cocktail. If you want any of the exact measurements or ingredients, as always, hit the link below to go to my website. If you're not subscribed already, I would love you to be part of this community. So hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time hanging out right here for more deliciousness.